So we will start the first problem. So this is C star, which is C minus zero, means all complex numbers except the complex number zero. I'm going to take this set. So if I take consider this set, this set is set of all complex numbers. I'm going to omit zero from the complex number, and I'm going to look at this entire set. So this set is our C star, means all complex numbers except zero and in this set i'm going uh, for this set i'm going to see uh, if i use the operation usual multiplication i'm going to check whether this set is a group or not so let me write c star is we know that c star is nothing but set of all set of all non zero complex numbers and now i'm going to uh, take so for uh, the first property that we need to check for a group is closure so let me write closure so i will take two complex numbers z and w which are in c star and i have to check what happens to the multiplication of z and w so if i take z into w so z is not zero z is a non zero complex number w is also a non zero complex numbers both are non zero complex numbers can i assure that z dot w is also a non zero complex number if i make sure that z into w is non zero complex number this means that z into w will go in c star so we know that mod of z into w from your complex numbers you know that mod of z w is equal to mod z multiplied by mod w now we know that z is not equal to 0 if the complex number is not equal to 0 then its magnitude will also be not equal to 0 magnitude of z is nothing but if i have a complex number z which is a plus i b what is the magnitude the magnitude is mod z is given by square root of a square plus b square okay so if z is not 0 then this quantity will also be not equal to 0 and this quantity will also be not equal to 0 therefore this is product of two numbers both are non zero and therefore z mod of z dot w cannot be equal to zero means the complex number z into w is a non zero complex number and therefore z dot w does actually belong to c star so this means that z and w both belong to c star and now i have proved that the product z into w also belongs to c star therefore my closure holds now once i'm done with this now i really want you all to check this particular property the second thing is associativity for associativity we know that we have to check Z1 multiplied by Z1 dot Z2 dot Z3 is equal to Z1 dot Z2 and then dot Z3. Now this uh, this particular property you can check where all these Zi's are belonging to C star where i goes from one to three. Okay, this you can check this property. The third thing is identity. now can we find a complex number e which is a non zero complex number which belongs to c star such that z multiplied by e will give me z again what is this z this z is an element of non zero complex number so which number should i multiply to a given complex number so that i will get the complex number back so obviously that 
com that number that complex number has to be e which is 1 which is 1 plus i times 0 you see this is a non zero complex number therefore e belongs to c star who is e in this problem the value of e in this particular thing is e equal to 1 then for the fourth thing now we have checked the closure we have checked the associativity we have checked the identity and now we are left with the existence of inverse so let me go for the existence of inverse so if i write here inverse If I take one complex number z, which is in C star, okay, can I find a complex number w, which is also in C star, such that what should happen? The number multiplied by its inverse, that should give you identity. Now, who is identity in our problem? The identity is 1. So, z into w should be equal to 1. Now, z is known to me. So, z is given to us. And I want to find the w, which is such that z multiplied by w will be equal to 1. And obviously, that w has to be, you can actually make a guess, that w can be taken as to be 1 upon, 1 upon z. Right? Now, if z is not equal to 0, obviously I can find 1 upon z. We can find 1 upon z, right? So, everyone knows that if z is equal to a plus ib, what is 1 upon z? 1 upon z is also a complex number, which is 1 upon a plus ib, which you can rationalize or you can multiply by the complex conjugate and that becomes 1 upon z becomes what it becomes a minus ib divided by a plus ib into a minus ib will become a squared plus b squared so this means that 1 upon z is also a complex number which is given by a upon a squared plus b squared minus i into b upon a squared plus b squared okay so this is how you so now is it clear that if z is a complex number then 1 upon z is also a complex number and therefore the inverse of z exists and who is that inverse that inverse is obviously that inverse is w and inverse is w Okay, so this all these four properties will mean that C star with respect to the usual multiplication that is complex multiplication forms a group. So this completes our first exercise.